to St. Mark Family, Youth, and Children Time. Good morning. Today we're looking at the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John 14, verses 1 to 14. And right smack dab in the middle of that is John chapter 14, verse 6. And it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So among the other things Jesus is telling his disciples and us is that he, Jesus, is the way to the Father. Well, there was a time when a person going on a trip wouldn't think of beginning their journey without a road map. The map was very helpful to the traveler in finding the way to where they were going. Today, we don't often see a road map. And do you know why? I bet lots of you have a car that has a GPS in it. My car is old. It doesn't have a GPS, but I have one that I can bring in the car and hook up. I also can use my phone as a GPS, if I have data. So, what is a GPS? Well, GPS is short for Global Positioning System. It was developed about 45 years ago. So how does the GPS work? Well, when you're ready to go somewhere, you type in the address where you want to go. And the GPS connects you to a satellite up above the Earth and computes the path to your destination. As soon as you start driving, a map appears on the screen and a voice from the GPS gives you a turn-by-turn -turn directions. Turn right on Main Street in one kilometer. Turn left in two kilometers. Turn right in 150 meters. Uh-oh. What happens if you were too busy talking and you miss your turn? The GPS says, Recalculating. And immediately computes a new route to get you back on the right path to your destination. I also have a GPS that I carry on my hand and I use it to play a game called geocaching. It will help me not just find my way on the road, but on trails and on the water. Wow, it would be so cool when we're trying to follow Jesus in our daily life to have a GPS to lead us in the right direction, wouldn't it? Hey, I have a friend and her watch sets off an alarm to tell her she's been sitting for too long and to get up and move. And another friend on her watch, it tells her how many steps she's taken, and that way she can be healthier. It'd be nice to have something to keep us on the right path and keep us from getting lost like a GPS. It would be something if we had a device that would help us to get on the right track when we made a wrong decision. Hmm, I wonder. Do not eat that cookie. Hmm. <laughs> Then again, it might be a little annoying. I guess that Jesus' disciples might have liked something to help them after Jesus told them he's going to leave them. So why don't we look at John chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Jesus said to them, I'm going to prepare a place for you, and when everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me. You know the way to where I'm going. One of the disciples, whose name was Thomas, answered Jesus, Um, no we don't, Lord. We don't even know where you're going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Another disciple named Philip joined in, Well, Lord, show us the Father and we'll be satisfied. Philip, Jesus said, have you been with me all this time and you still don't know who I am? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So why are you asking me to show you the Father? Just believe that I am the Father and the Father is in me. Anyone who believes in me will do the same things I have done. <sighs> wow, that, that must have been hard for them to understand, but... Hmm, imagine, well, we're more than one thing, aren't we? Like, you can be a sister and a daughter, um, and you can be a friend and a brother. Well, 
I'm a mom and I'm a daughter at the same time. Maybe his disciples do understand. Maybe they're just a little slow. Maybe they did finally understand that Jesus and the Father are the same. Maybe that was all the disciples needed to know is that to love and follow Jesus is the right path to the Father. Hey, but even if we have our smartphones and GPSs or even road maps or a treasure map, how do we find our way to where Jesus has gone to be with the Father? We did not get to see Jesus as Thomas and Philip did, right? Hey, but we can follow the teachings that Jesus has given us in the Bible. God's holy word. That's our GPS and it will keep us on the right path. Why don't we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son to provide the way to eternal life. Thank you for your holy word, which will keep us on the right path in our journey through life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.